Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly share my experience using Ready Seal Stain and Sealer uh, in case this is helpful to anyone. This was my first time using it. I recently built about 130 feet of cedar board on board fence, did a lot of research, and landed on Ready Seal. So, first off, I used the light oak slash natural color. Um, I just felt like the cedar color was a bit too dark orange for me in the reviews and the photos that I saw. Um, one quick tip, by the way, I love Home Depot, but I got this for about $80 cheaper for five gallons on Amazon than at Home Depot. I'm not sure how long that'll be the case, but definitely worth checking out. You can find a link below. I tried out a few different methods and I'll share how they worked out for me. Um, first of all, with a roller, it was about what you'd expect. Um, I got through about one picket before having to reload. Obviously with a roller, you can't get any of the inside or you know side spaces if you have a board on board type fence like I do, but overall worked pretty decently. So next was a pump sprayer and just a caveat, the nozzle on my sprayer is not the greatest. So if you have a better one, your experience might be a little different than mine. It definitely worked for getting the stain on the wood. You know, they say that there's no back brushing required. You can just spray it on and let it, you know, drip down and even out. I ended up going back over it with a roller um, and a brush. You could absolutely do it with only a pump sprayer without back brushing, but you would probably end up using, I'd say about two times the amount of stain in order to get enough on there to let it even out and, and drip down on its own. So here's how I would just kind of even it out you know, spread out what was on there with a roller after using the pump sprayer. Worked pretty well. Using a paintbrush was a little bit challenging just because the stain is so thin, it's barely thicker than water. So the brush just doesn't hold much without dripping off. So I would say a brush is really better used for mostly, you know, spreading it around and filling in gaps once it's on there. I definitely wouldn't plan on doing any large sections with only a brush. At the end of the day, the method that I found to be the most effective and efficient, which I did for most of the fence was as you can see here, a combination of all three. So I'd spray about 10 or 12 slats and then go over it quickly with a roller. Again, mostly just evening it out and spreading what you've got on there. If you've got a board on board or you know any kind of uh, three dimension texture to your fence like I do, you'll definitely need a brush to get on the inside and the edges as well. And this method allowed me to actually be pretty stingy with the stain as well since I wanted to make sure I you know covered everything and didn't have to buy more a couple of tips I would share definitely start at the top and work your way down the pickets um, since it does run down a substantial amount a couple of times I got a brush full of stain and started doing a touch up near the bottom and lost half the stain to the grass below also, make sure that you're shaking or you know stirring the stain pretty frequently. It tends to settle a little bit and thicken at the bottom, so you wanna keep it uniform. Um, I was able to do one side of a six foot fence, almost 130 feet of fence with one five gallon bucket, which was you know pretty good. Um, took me about five hours to do that with some of the uh, back brushing that I had to do, so. This stuff is advertised as goof proof, as they call it. Um, they say that, you know, you can apply it with a sprayer, a roller or a brush. And I would definitely say they're not wrong. Basically, any way, you know, you can get the stain on there and get the wood covered. Um, it's going to look great. It will even out. Um, it will look uniform as long as you do a halfway decent job of just getting it on there. Here are just a few shots of kind of the before and after hopefully to give you a good sense of what the light oak color looks like. Again, this is on Western red cedar pickets. I think it does a really good job of bringing out kind of the natural beauty and texture of the wood without totally washing it out with that orange cedar look that you sometimes get. One other quick thing I observed is that some boards definitely seem to absorb a lot more stain than others. 
I'm not sure how well you can see here on the left, it's a very smooth, finely sanded picket. And on the right, it's much more rough and kind of porous. And the rougher pickets definitely absorbed more stain for whatever that's worth. You will definitely want to put a barrier down if you care at all about what's below the fence. Um, in my case, one section was dirt and gravel, uh, but one section here ties into my house uh, over my RV pad. So I just used some cardboard pr to protect it and it worked great. And here is a final look at the gated area by my house, as well as the main side section. It definitely looks a little bit different in different lighting, but we are absolutely thrilled with it. I actually had a couple people literally pull over um, to look at it and ask what I was using as I was staining it. So I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know below.